Breaking news just in and I've got all the details for you. Prince Harry wants to reunite with family, but King Charles' health and Kate's slow recovery are concerns. Sarah Ferguson's cancer also remains a global worry. Now let's talk about Prince Edward, King Charles III's favorite brother who's in the spotlight. Edward is crucial to the monarchy, both for his dedication and experience. Covering for five inactive royals, Edward defended Harry when he and Meghan were evicted from Frogmore. Recently, Edward's been the only one publicly supporting Harry, praising his visit to Charles after the diagnosis. Remember Harry's 12-hour flight, spending 45 precious minutes with his father, as he recently described? Media reported Prince Edward left a major royal event in London to support a charity. Edward spoke to reporters, stating the royal family's charitable work must continue regardless. As a key figure in the monarchy, Edward nodded when asked if he was happy about Prince Harry's possible return. Overwhelmed, he shed tears reuniting with his nephew while King Charles battles cancer. This situation is delicate, moving and shocking. Edward broke protocol, crying on camera while expressing support for Harry's visit. He showed his love for Harry remained strong, with his nephew awaiting him in England. She shared concern for her brother, but expressed hope as he faces cancer head-on. They're confident, as we are, that he'll pull through. Tell me in the comments what you think of Prince Edward's move to welcome Prince Harry. He also confirmed King Charles III's health is delicate, but remained optimistic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you haven't already. To stay updated with your favorite royal news channel now, let's discuss another story about a recent emotional visit to Balmoral, where Princess Cecilene shed tears remembering Queen Elizabeth II. Balmoral, the Queen's favorite retreat, symbolizes cherished memories and family bonds. This surprise trip, called by King Charles, stirred nostalgia and gratitude in Catherine. Stepping onto the historic grounds, Catherine was flooded with memories of her early royal days. Balmoral Castle in Scotland, the Queen's summer retreat, was her favorite home before her passing in 2022. The Queen's subtle yet powerful presence made Balmoral a private sanctuary for family gatherings. Stay tuned for more updates and discover authentic, fascinating content on our King's Secrets channel. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest news. Now, let's discuss another intriguing story about a moment that captivated global audiences, Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh. She broke royal protocol with an emotional display at the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. The event occurred during one of the game's most anticipated moments. When a British athlete secured a gold medal for the UK on August 5 at the Olympic Velodrome, Prince Edward's wife celebrated in the stands after the British track cycling team won gold in the women's team sprint simultaneously setting a world record of 45.1186 seconds. In a video shared on X by the royal family's official account, Sophie, 59, 
She raised her arms, cheered and hugged the man beside her as the moment unfolded. Known for royal etiquette, Sophie surprised many by spontaneously embracing a likely British Olympic team member, sharing her excitement. The camera captured moment quickly went viral, spreading through social media and news outlets. A royal breaking protocol to share collective joy was a refreshing change from expected stoic behavior. The hug was a much friendlier exchange than the usual formal greetings associated with British royalty. The public's reaction to this unexpected show of affection was overwhelmingly positive. Many admired the Duchess's genuine response, seeing it as shared humanity rather than a protocol breach. The Duchess of Edinburgh wore a £200 dress to the Olympics, marking Sophie's latest fashion success. She made headlines again when she saw the British cycling team set a world record in Paris the night before. Dressed in a purple floral midi dress by British designer Emora Elago for the occasion, Sophie has long been respected for her dedication to royal duties and charity work, balancing these responsibilities with her roles as a mother and wife. This Olympic moment added a new dimension to her public image, showing her ability to connect deeply with others. While royal protocol doesn't dictate specific etiquette, many choose to observe traditional customs. For men, this means bowing, while women perform a small curtsy. Others simply prefer to shake hands as usual. Sophie's brief protocol breach left a lasting impression, capturing the Olympic spirit and global unity through sport. It also showed evolving public interactions, where authenticity now complements tradition and duty. Don't forget to subscribe and discuss this exciting news in the comments. Now let's talk about another fascinating story that moved global audiences. A storm of epic proportions has hit Wokingham. Queen Camilla's behavior has pushed King Charles III to the brink. It's not just the press or a royal advisor saying it now. A close confidant of Queen Camilla, from within the monarchy, has broken silence, putting the Queen consort in a difficult position. This source confirms rumors of trouble in the royal marriage. There's a shocking reason we'll reveal shortly. First, please like this video and comment if you think Camilla's secrets are causing this crisis. We'll hear from our team about what sparked this drama shaking the British royals, seemingly caused by Queen Camilla herself. Let's listen. Great to be back with you from our newsroom. I've got updates on the situation. Camilla, England's queen, has stood by Charles III, especially since his cancer diagnosis. Their relationship, starting in 1970, had many ups and downs before their 2005 marriage. Camilla was married to Andrew Park Bowles, a brigadier general. Both had well-known affairs. Camilla had a relationship with Charles, while Andrew was unfaithful too. Despite controversy, Camilla supported Charles through tough times like Diana's death. Camilla and Andrew remain on good terms. He even attended Charles III's coronation. Camilla was always by the king's side. Past relationships of public figures, especially royals, can impact their current status and image. What's your take on this? Well, yes, absolutely. 
King Charles III strongly disapproves of Queen Camilla's friendship with her ex-husband. A former Buckingham advisor claims Charles III becomes furious whenever he hears Camilla is with her ex for any reason. The monarch's anger isn't from insecurity, but specifically directed at that gentleman. Queen Camilla seems oblivious to her husband's anger, sparking speculation within Buckingham Palace. Some say these issues could lead King Charles to consider a sudden messy divorce. Others think it's just adjustment pains as they settle into their roles as king and queen. One thing's clear, the royal crisis stems from Camilla's close friendship with her ex, as the source notes. This will surely lead to new consequences down the road. I'm certain that's how it'll play out. We know King Charles can be patient, but when angry, they say all of Buckingham trembles. Let's see how King Charles reacts to this now. English media just surprisingly reported on Queen Camilla's friendly ties with her ex-husband. It's quite a complex situation at the moment. Think King Charles will react furiously at the start of this week? I believe so. Share your thoughts below, give this video a big like, and stay tuned for more on Secretos del Rey. Don't forget to subscribe for updates and join the discussion in the comments. What's your take on this situation? Do you think Queen Camilla is risking her marriage to King Charles? Share your thoughts with us. Now let's discuss another equally intriguing news item. Breaking news. Prince William addresses King Charles III and Queen Camilla's marital crisis. This recently discussed crisis has become increasingly evident. British media can't ignore it, reporting via social media that the royal's romance is waning despite long marriages. Twenty twenty four brings rumors of splits, prompting Prince William to send a strong message. First, Please like this video if you haven't already to keep getting the best content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of new uploads. YouTube will notify you for free so you can watch them right away. What's your take on King Charles III and Queen Camilla's relationship? Perhaps what starts badly doesn't end well. Let's discuss the latest on Prince William, a rumor about King Charles, and a message William left later. Revealing his father's crisis, not about cancer, but about Queen Camilla. Let's listen. Hello Orlando, great to connect with you again from our content room. I have news from lespanol.com. Prince William's broken his father's tradition by not disclosing his taxes, causing controversy. The Duke of Cornwall's report shows William earned £28 million from his estates last year. However, his tax contributions weren't detailed. British press criticised this lack of transparency, especially given Charles's high rent for Hero, which William inherited. Despite criticism, Charles plans to stay at Hero and hired a gardener to keep it 100% eco-friendly. What do you think, Orlando? Could this lack of tax transparency raise concerns about the monarchy's responsibilities? Tax transparency isn't entirely absent as William is paying taxes and filing returns. making these public statements, but all this is common knowledge regarding the English Treasury. 
The most surprising thing isn't what King Charles might be paying his son in rent known to be financial support he provides, but how Prince William has addressed these concerns publicly. First, he's made it clear that his finances have always been transparent and public. Second, he explained that King Charles III's rent is set simply because the monarch himself determined the price. And third, he's shown this is a place where the king feels comfortable alone, has felt better, fighting cancer there, pleasing those who oppose Queen Camilla and favor Diana's memory. Prince William's comment about his father enjoying alone time during cancer treatment, what does it imply? It suggests that according to Prince William, King Charles III is happier without Queen Camilla than with her. Where does this come from? Why is Prince William opposing Queen Camilla? We've seen the Queen Consort urge Kate to resume royal duties if she's feeling better. Meanwhile, King Charles has distanced himself from Queen Camilla at events for months. No more affection between them. It's all about the monarchy now, not feelings. A crisis in the English royal couple is confirmed. Is this the final break? I doubt it. These issues are just beginning. We don't know how much Charles can take or if he'll suddenly leave Camilla. Could this really happen? I'm not sure. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Prince William clearly sides with Queen Camilla emotionally, not just monarchically. More insights and analysis, as always, in Secrets of the King. Prince William honored Diana's memory beautifully at a key life moment. William and Kate's fairy tale marriage nears its 13 year lace anniversary. The couple, who dated for eight years, gave their first joint interview on New Year's Eve. This talk is remembered for Kate's iconic, often copied blue dress. Kate said the proposal was a surprise, though she thought it might happen. It was a total shock when it happened, she revealed, showing William's romantic side during the interview. William paid tribute to his mother, Princess Diana, at the engagement ceremony. Prince William gave Princess Kate a 12-carat sapphire ring with 14 diamonds. This stunning piece of jewelry once belonged to Princess Diana herself. Diana's ring, chosen by Prince Charles in 1981, became an iconic symbol of love and legacy. By giving this heirloom to Kate, William honored his mother and linked past to future. Choosing this historic piece shows William's deep love for his mother and future wife. William described the ring's sentiment and how it kept his late mother close to everything. She won't be here to share the excitement, so this is my way to keep her close, he said. The sapphire ring with its diamond halo symbolizes enduring love on Princess Kate's finger. It's a touching reminder of Diana's lasting influence on her children's lives. Using Diana's ring for this joyous occasion shows William's respect for her legacy. Giving this exquisite jewelry to his bride-to-be beautifully honors Diana's memory.